On September 15th of 2023, United States fishermen returning from the sea reported something highly unusual. As, just a few dozen miles north of the populated island of Saipan and the northern Mariana Islands, they reported that the ocean had turned an unusual color, specifically shades of green and greenish yellow. Water discoloration is often used as evidence of an ongoing volcanic eruption such as during the 2011 submarine eruption of El Hierro in the Canary Islands. As, for the first time in 28 years, the closest volcano to the island of Saipan was erupting, specifically a submarine volcano known as the Ruby Seamount. This eruption began at 2.27 p.m. local time on September 15th when seismoacoustic stations picked up a series of sounds and signals in the direction of the Ruby Seamount which indicated volcanic explosions. These explosions were likely triggered by the extrusion of lava onto the volcano where overlying ocean water flashed to steam triggering material to fragment and explode. This occurred at a depth of 230 meters or 755 feet below sea level involving the extrusion of basaltic lava much like you might frequently see at the Kilauea or Mauna Loa volcanoes in Hawaii. Over the next several days, the patch of discolored water expanded and drifted towards the northeast without more material being emitted from the Ruby Seamount. Thus, it appears that at least for now, the eruption may have ended only 12 hours after it began. For comparison, a separate submarine volcano known as the Aoyi Seamount in the same volcanic chain erupted intermittently between October of 2022 and June of 2023. This consisted of numerous discolored water plumes and underwater explosions, which occurred in bursts of activity, with several days to weeks repeatedly passing between distinct explosions. For comparison, Ruby Seamount has two historical eruptions. Its eruption in 1966 lasted for three weeks, while its 1995 eruption lasted for two weeks. During these eruptions, a hydrogen sulfide odor was reported along with discolored water and water turbulence. What I am trying to say is that Ruby Seamount's eruption might not actually be over, as 12 hours is too short in the historical context of this volcano. Altogether, this means that the Ruby Seamount is now the third volcano to be actively erupting in the United States. It joins the Great Sikkim Volcano in Alaska, which has been erupting since May of 2021, alongside the Shishaldin Volcano in Alaska, which has been erupting since July of 2023. For context, the Ruby Seamount Volcano is located on the eastern edge of the Philippine Sea, where it is 27.3 miles north-northwest of the island of Saipan. The Ruby Seamount is one of 24 volcanoes in the northern Mariana Islands in Guam, which are considered to be active or potentially active, with the East Diamante Submarine Volcano to the north and the Esmeralda Bank Submarine Volcano to the south-southwest. Ruby could be both considered as a submarine volcano and stratovolcano, meaning that it consists of overlapping layers of lava and ash and has probably generated explosive eruptions in the past. However, the current activity appears to be small scale, and while theoretically speaking, any submarine volcanic eruption could generate a tsunami through a powerful explosion or a small landslide displacing water, there is not any evidence which points towards this occurring. In other words, in my opinion, the eruption of the Ruby Seamount does not carry with it a tsunami hazard. While floating pumice has not been observed in the patches of discolored water, there is always the potential for floating fragments to exist which ships should avoid. With an overall threat score per the US Geological Survey of zero, the very low threat Ruby Seamount only poses one potential hazard. I would personally recommend keeping a minimum distance of 10 miles or 16 kilometers for ships around the volcano's summit as not only can unexpected powerful explosions break through sea level and damage a ship, but also this volcano is likely emitting large amounts of gases. These gases are much less dense than seawater, so as they combine with water, it makes the regional water significantly less dense, meaning any ship passing over such a feature could quickly sink. Thus, you should not attempt to view this eruption by boat, but rather only by viewing it from an island high point if it produces more discolored water. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.